How's it going guys? Today we have a, a kind of a special video. This video um, I was asked to do from a viewer a couple weeks ago and I've just kind of been putting it off and putting it off because I haven't really thought of a good way to do it. And I think I'm finally at a point where I can make a solid attempt at it. So let's get down to what this video is. This video is going to be the PlayStation logo. A couple of weeks ago, Christopher Harry commented, he said, do you think you can do the PlayStation logo that is on your hat? So he wants to know if I can do this one right here. You know, all the fine details in the hat and the logo, um, all the shapes and stuff, I, I figured it might be kind of hard to get that pattern um, with, you know, the key layout of the keyboard. But I think I figured out a way that we can get something like a PlayStation logo on your keyboard. And it's, it actually looks really, really cool. So uh, we're going to get right into this video, guys, and show you guys how to do it. So let's go. All right, guys, so let me just paint this picture for you real quick. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this PlayStation logo on the keyboard. And what I'm going to do is it's going to basically be the PlayStation logo scrolling down slowly on your keyboard. All right, guys, so we're going to get started right now. I have a static layer that is completely blank. I'm going to pull up the PlayStation logo real quick just so you guys know what I'm looking at. So here we go. We got our PlayStation logo. Um, it looks just like that right there. So what we're going to do basically is we're basically going to dissect this logo in strips, vertical strips, and kind of just create our own logo on the keyboard uh, bases, based off of vertical waves. So we're going to just start from the left and go to right. And we're basically going to slice off this left side. So I'm going to take these first two rows right here. And we're going to select our color gradient. Now uh, we're starting with yellow here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, I want to get f four nodes here. So I'm going to add one. So now we got four little nodes. Okay. This one's going to be yellow. This one's going to be yellow. And then we got some black <clears throat> and we're going to pinch these black in a little bit. We're going to adjust this a little bit. I want to explain something real quick. Um, so when you're looking at this gradient bar, we're going to have our wave angle straight down one, 180 degrees. So when it is at 180 degrees, the right side of your gradient here, this is going to be the bottom of your keyboard and slowly working up towards the top of your keyboard on the left side of the gradient angle right here is at 180 degrees just like that so at 180 the right side of your gradient is the bottom okay we're going to slow our speed down to one okay so <clears throat> with that in mind we're going to put a little bit of yellow on our keyboard we're going to do something like this, okay? Something like that. That's going to be, that might be a little bit too big. I'm going to pinch it in like that. Okay, so that's the very left side of this PlayStation, PlayStation image right here. So it's the very left side. What you want to do is you want to take this effect and you want to hit Control C and you copy it. So right now we copied our wave. Now you want to select your next two rows. Just like that. So we got our next two rows selected. And you want to hit Control V. And what that does is it pastes that same effect into these keys. <clears throat> so now what we can do is we can go in and just make slight adjustments on this gradient to kind of gradually change our design. Okay. We're going to take our gradient right here and we're going to kind of spread it out. <clears throat> now, like I said, the right side is the bottom, so that's where the yellow is going to be. So we're going to have yellow down here. Oh, there's already a node here. And up here, there's actually it's actually going to be like a turquoise color. So we're going to find a turquoise color that is very similar. 
I think something like this will work. Something like that. Yeah, that looks good. So my color I chose right here is this code right here. Once you find this color that you like, okay, you're gonna copy this code. You're gonna copy that co color, that way you can continue having that color throughout. One thing I forgot, guys, we wanna have our width at 200% for every single, every single wave we make. It's gotta be at 200%, so 200. That way, it's the image is bigger than our keyboard, and it's not all squished into a uh, just our, our limited height here. So we have twice the height of our keyboard, and it just kind of scans through. So now we're gonna go with a uh, we're gonna start making this little split right here in the in the logo. So I'm gonna add a couple more rows here. I'm gonna go with that right there, just like that. Okay. So oh, I forgot to copy my code. So as you go, you want to copy the, the previous waves code every single time. That way you're gradually making small changes. So control C on that one. And now select your keys. And we're going to hit control V once we select our keys. Control V. That pastes our gradient in here. Now we can go in and make really small changes. So I'm going to just, I'm going to slowly, gradually going to move this up. You can see on this logo, the yellow doesn't really change a whole lot of height there. You can change it if you want. I'm going to leave it the same. So going back, uh, we moved our turquoise up a little bit. And we're going to add in another node. And this is going to be black. Okay. So we, we added in our node right here. And it's going to kind of create the separation a little bit. That looks good. Make sure we're at 200%, 180, that everything looks good. I'm going to hit save. <clears throat> so now it's going down. So we're going to copy our pattern and we're going to go to the next line. Something like that. That looks good. Control V to paste. Now we got our last gradient and we're going to kind of slide the gray up, green up a little bit more even. Sliding the green up a little bit more gonna make more of a pronounced gap in here something like that see what that looks like I'm actually gonna go ahead and add in our blue because if you look there's a little sliver of blue here see that see that little sliver so I'm gonna take that blue and I'm gonna add it in I'm gonna add in one more node this one right here this is gonna be that blue so we're gonna take this and we're gonna slide it over just a bit Something like that. There we go. Something like that. Okay. And we're going to hit save. Okay. So now that we have this going on, what we're going to do is we're going to select. We're going to start making the the P on the PlayStation logo, the red P. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to select the next set of waves. Actually, I'm going to I am going to do the same thing. I'm going to copy the previous gradient and I'm going to paste it into here just like that and what we're going to do just because I have this starting point here and we're going to change this to red we're going to change that to red that's going to stay black and we're going to delete these other nodes here doot 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 okay and we will make this red quite large something like that okay that looks good make sure we're at 200 percent everything's good hit save all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to this previous one right here that has our greens okay and we're going to control c on that and we're going to start selecting our next lines and control v there and we want to make sure we add the red at the top for um, the top of the P. So we're trying to get basically this little strip in here. All right. So once we've selected these keys, we're going to click in our gradient here. We're going to have a little bit of trouble here because of the limited number of nodes that we get. So we're going to, I'm going to, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to kind of take out 
the blue if we look at our logo there's not a whole lot of blue in there <clears throat> so i'm going to take it out just because we're limited on the number of nodes we can use i took it out and i'm going to add in uh red add in another one right here that's black and hit save let's go back and look at our logo we're going to kind of finish this piece off we got i'm going to be done with yellow i'm done with yellow okay i'm going to go red into blue into green and then that's it so we're going to take this we're going to copy that come down here paste it and we're going to kind of play around with this a little bit we're going to take out the black take that black out this we're going to change to our blue so if you need to copy that blue, just go ahead and come back here. Come back to a previous um, one where you have your blue color and just copy this code. Copy. And now we're going to come over here and we're going to paste it right here. Okay, so we got our blue there. Let me look at the logo real quick. So there is a little bit of a gap, then the blue, then a gap, then the green. So I'm going to try and mimic that as best I can. I'm going to try and add in a node here. So let's drag that over just a little bit. This is going to be black. Okay. So we got a little bit of a space. Then we got our blue. Decent bit of blue. Then a space. And then a green. So if you need to, once again, if you need to copy that green, not a problem. Just step over here copy that code come back to our line here and we're gonna paste it in okay just like that and we're gonna hit save I'm gonna go back over here I'm just gonna move this black over a little bit because it, it's drowning it out um, we don't need this node here because this red one's already taking it over. Uh, I'm going to split this out a little bit more here. Kind of like that. Okay, hit save. You got to play around with it a little bit. You know, tweak it to however you want it. I don't like how close this red is, so I'm going to kind of move it up. Hit save. That looks a lot better to me. All right, so I like the way that looks right there. That looks good. I've tweaked it around a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to finish off our PlayStation logo here. So uh, we got where it's rounding in blue, and you got a little bit of green. We'll go the blue, green, and then uh, we'll, do, we'll finish it off with the blue at the end. C copy our code. Paste our code. <clears throat> And we are going to nix the red. So we have black here. This should be black. Okay. Good. And so we have blue being a little bit more prominent. Uh, I'm going to copy this code real quick. And I'm going to paste this code. Another way, another thing you can do if you want to copy it um, is you can select this and you can add another node. See, and it instantly copies it, just like that. We're going to make our blue a little bit bigger because it's getting a little more prominent. And we're going to add a little bit of a, a bigger gap here. So I'm going to add in another black one, a little bit of a bigger gap. It's going to move up a little bit. The green's coming up a little bit as well. So that looks kind of close if we uh, take a look at it. So we're going to copy and we're going to paste. And what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the black, get rid of the black. We're actually going to get rid of this green. We're going to move this over, move this down, and we're just going to kind of close it up. Something like that. Close her up like that and hit save.
All right, Christopher, so that's it for this video, man. I really hope uh, this was enough to get you that logo that you were wanting for your keyboard. Thank you so much for your comment. For everybody else watching, there's a comment section down below. You guys all know about it. Leave a comment down there. Tell me what kind of design that you guys would like to see on a keyboard. I'd be more than happy to give it a try. As always, you can contact me on my social media accounts, Instagram, Twitter, and find me on Twitch four nights a week. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button if you like the video. Consider subscribing if you want to see more videos like this one. All right, guys. I'll see you later.